Hey everybody, this is Stephen and Frederick, and this is How I Cook. Easter is coming up, so the theme for today is Easter. We'll be doing two things to eat and one cocktail. First thing we're going to make is pineapple stuffing. This is something I really love. Five ingredients, very easy. First ingredient is butter. This is a double batch, so one cup of butter. One cup of butter in the mixer. And we're going to cream the butter. So, for anybody who doesn't know what creaming butter is, is you're adding air into it, you're mixing it, it's becoming lighter and fluffier, and we're going to be incorporating into it sugar. A cup of sugar. So, like I said, we're going to get some air into the butter. Whipping it. And we're going to add the sugar little by little. You're going to see the color of the butter is going to change. It's not because of the sugar. Maybe it's a little because of the sugar, but it's more because of the air that's getting in there. It's going to go from a yellow to a white. I'm just going to scrape down the sides and turn it back on. So the butter is much lighter and much fluffier. Again, I'm going to scrape it down. We're going to add the next ingredient, which is eggs. So four eggs need to go in here, the whole eggs, and I'm going to turn it on again, but much more slowly, putting the eggs in one by one. Four eggs. I'm going to increase the beating. Okay. So right now, we have a mixture of butter, sugar, and eggs. It really doesn't look that appetizing right now, but it'll be delicious. I'm using six slices of bread. This is potato bread. Use white bread. Use whatever bread you want. Remember, not saying it's the right way, not saying it's the way you should do it. This is how I cook. So, I'm supposed to make cubes. I'm going to make cubes, but I'm not that vexed about them being perfect because I'm going to really beat the uh, bread up. So I'm just doing rough cubes. We're going to beat it again. Not too hard at first. I just put the bread in. It'll start to incorporate. Pretty good. It's incorporated. And now, pineapple. It's pineapple stuffing. This is a 25 ounce can of crushed pineapple. They say drained. I just drain off a little the um, juice that's on the top. I don't really squeeze it down and make it all that dry. And now we're incorporating the pineapple. So everything looks really well incorporated. Baking dish, cooking spray. Spread it out. This is a stuffing I really love. And it will freeze. And there we have it. All ready to go into the oven. 350 degrees, preheated. For 
one hour. Okay, I'll be back in a little uh, and we'll do an Easter cocktail. So this week's cocktail is an orange sickle mimosa. I think definitely more of a brunch item, but could you have it for dinner? Absolutely. We have two cups of orange juice here. This is heavy cream. Could you use half and half? I'm sure you could, but why wouldn't you use heavy cream? It's delicious. So they say two tablespoons. You can see these are generous tablespoons. And that's the mixture. This is kava. You can use Prosecco, kava, champagne. If you don't like bubbly alcohols, vodka, or whatever you want to put in yours. I want to point out this glass. Our friend Allison Walsh made these for us for the millennium. They had us over for dinner. So this is 21 years old. Each couple got matching glasses. And we still have ours, Allison. Thank you so much. So, the orange juice heavy cream mixture. Not too much. Some kava. Delicious. So there's your orange sickle mimosa for Easter day or any day. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Let's check the pineapple stuffing. Perfect. So you can see it's brown around the edges. The edges are gonna taste fabulous. Sarah's gonna taste pretty good too. It's puffed up right now. It will deflate a little. That's fine, but I'm sure this is something, as long as you like pineapple, that you and your family will love. I'm not gonna take any right now because it's really too hot. Just trust me, I've had it many, many, many times and it is delicious. All right, see you in a little. Okay, so the pineapple stuffing is cooled down enough that we can try it. Mm. Comes out in a nice, Slice. Mm. Really good. Pineapple, bread, butter, sugar. What is it not to love? Mm. I'm going to put it aside right now and we're going to go on to the next recipe. next recipe is, for Easter, resurrection cookies, tomb cookies, Easter cookies, whatever you want to call them. And if you want to know the story of the resurrection cookie or the Easter cookie, you can go online and read what it is. But I just think they're delicious cookies. You don't have to celebrate Easter to eat them or to love them. So, here we go. So, first thing we're going to do is, uh, we need some egg whites. So let's go over to the sink. Four egg whites. Here's four eggs. For those of you who have never separated eggs, it takes a little concentration, but you just break the egg, and then you let the white run through your fingers. Yes, my hands are clean. And then you put the yolk there. You cannot get yolk in the white. If we do, the meringue will not come out properly. We're going to put the four egg whites in the mixing bowl. We're then going to put a pinch of salt in the mixing bowl. 
we're going to put a teaspoon of vinegar in the mixing bowl. This, I will not overdo it. And then we're going to put a cup of sugar in the mixing bowl. So, we're going to put the whisk attachment on and let it go. We're going to make a soft peak meringue. Can you do this with the hand mixer? Absolutely. Uh, it just is tougher and would take more time. Pretty good. Soft peaks. It doesn't stand up straight. Um, pretty good. Now I'm going to gently stir in chocolate chips. It's a full cup. These are mini semi semi sweet chocolate chips. And this is the third cup. So we're putting three in there. I'm now going to from the bottom up. We're just incorporating the chocolate chips. The next step is to dole the batter out onto the aluminum foil. The aluminum foil is ungreased. How many cookies does this recipe make? I don't know. I'm making these pretty big. The oven is preheated to 300 degrees. It's been preheating for quite a while. 300. I'm just repeating that because so often we cook at 350. 300. We now turn off the oven. We put the cookies in and they stay in there overnight. It is now almost 8 o'clock at night. Probably be taking them out 8 o'clock tomorrow. But you'll see, I don't have to tend to them. Do not open that oven door. And if you really want to make them all in one day, they just have to stay in five hours. Some people put notes on the oven, please do not open. We're going to be okay. So, all right, I'll see you tomorrow morning when we take a look at our tomb, resurrection, Easter cookies. Okay, so it's the next day, around 13 hours later. Let's open the oven and see what happened. The oven's cold, so I don't need any mitts, because these are cold. Looks pretty good. Let's see why they're called tomb cookies. Because they're essentially empty on the inside. Let's take a look. Okay. You have to like sweets. These are extremely sweet. They're good, but they're extremely sweet. Okay, so that's this week's episode of How I Cook. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you next week.